important four days coming up. You're home, first of all, to Whitman Albion on Saturday. Yeah, uh, a decent side, very, very lively. I like to get the ball down and pass it. Um, come through very similar to ourselves through the playoffs last year, and uh, you know, it'd be a, be a good test for us. But you know, hopefully, with the result on Saturday against Colville, that's uh, you know picked a few uh, bit of confidence up in and around the team, and also uh, we, we, you know, possibly with a few more, you know, getting back. Um, but you know, we, we just have to wait and see that. The match before then, the home defeat to Russian Olympic, you felt there was a turning point there. You've seen that in the FA Cup, have you seen that following through? Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's important with people like Laurie Wilson coming back. They're, you know, they are big, important players. You know, Ashley Timms uh, had, a, had a good performance at, at Colville as well and made a good, a good save after five minutes. Um, really, other than that, I think that there was a lot of chances that we had and we never, put, you know, never finished it off. So. As it is confidence, a clean sheet always gives everybody confidence. Um, we just need to have a bit more of an end product and, and a bit ruthless in front of goal. What was the thinking with changing the goalkeepers? I mean, you know, we felt that that Chris had done very well, but you know, that we we just felt that you know Ashley uh, deserved this opportunity. He'd been sat in the wings. Uh, Ashley's uh, attitude wasn't wasn't right early on for me, and and now he's you know he's. He's come to the party and his uh, performance on Saturday should give him a lot of confidence. You know, because he's, a, he's like Chris, they're both, both very good goalkeepers and they both can go and play higher. You know, and we're fortunate to have both of them. After Saturday, a trip to Frickley on Tuesday night. Never a nice place to go on a Tuesday night, Rob, is it, Frickley? But, you know, we've got to be ready for the performance, you know, ready for what, what happens. Um, you know, some of the places in the Evo Stick Prem, Midweek, there's a lot of funny results. They've had a, a, a difficult start as well, so uh, you know it's not going to—it's not an easy place to go. But you know, hopefully, with three points on Saturday, we'll be going there with more confidence. And the day after that, the focus goes back to the younger players. The FA Youth Cup. We've got Hinkley coming here. You've had 16-year-old Ryan Osborne in and around the first team. What should fans be looking for when they come down? No, he's a, he's a player. You know, it's given me the opportunity to release. Jamie Clark this week. Um, you know, the, this football club is all about young players, and if we can produce our own young players and, and, and move them forward quickly and, and get in and around the first team, I don't think Ryan's ready for a first team start. But you know, coming off the bench, he, he's got an eye for a goal. You know, he's got a goal this afternoon in the in the Conference Youth League, and it, it was a lovely finish over the top of the goalkeeper. So, you know. Jamie Clark, it didn't really happen for him really. He, it, he got injured pre-season. He'd been away on honeymoon, um, you know. And these these things sort of take sort sort of take its toll. And also, then he was thrown in at the the deep end when Daryl Thomas got injured and Gary Ricketts got injured. And you know, it's one of them things that hasn't worked out. But we wish him all the best and and hope uh, you know. I, I know that he can go on and score goals, but. Uh, it, it was only right at this time that we, we let him go and he, he went out and played because he wants to go and play, he doesn't want to sit in the stand. Talking about injuries, we've still got Gary Ricketts got himself an injury in the cup on Saturday. Will he be around on the weekend? Don't think so. I don't think so. Russell Cook uh, looks doubtful as well. Joe Maguire might be fit for Saturday and also Greg Pearson will be out. So hopefully by the time we play Belper that we will have a few more back. Um, where we can, you know, strengthen the squad and, and hopefully have them ready for selection. You went on Tuesday night to watch the FA Cup replay, Matlock and Belper. What did you make of Belper? No, Belper did very well, you know, and they deserved the result. Um, we're, you know, they, they've got a few injuries and, uh, you know, they'll be uh, wanting to turn over us as, you know, they did last year on, on, on two occasions. But in that, on them two occasions, I think we had a hat full of chances and never made it pay and, and they had four chances in two games and, and beat us 3-2 and 1-0 so uh, we'd be looking to revenge it but I know Duff well and uh, everyone who'd come here and, and they want to have a good run like us but you know what it's like Rob local derby anything can happen in the FA Cup and you know it's our it's our first year back and, and we want to have a good run in it. So it's eight days of interesting games for uh, home fans, uh, two home games on the Saturdays, Youth Cup in the middle of the week. Well, yeah, it's, you know, have a look at the, the, the young players coming through. Um, you know, it's exciting times, you know, it, when you can see young players coming through and, and, and really looking the part, then, uh, you know, you, you've got, you know, it does give you a little bit as a, a, as a buzz of a manager. And when you look at our first team on Saturday, our back four, our back four was all as average age of 19. So, 
You know, that, that, that's good things to come to this football club. And if they go on to, to bigger and better things, that's even better because, you know, we've had it with Toro White. And I, I do believe there are, there are a lot of players here that can go and play at a higher level. But as, as all young players, they all need the experience and a little bit of nurturing and a, and a, a little kick up the backside occasionally. Um, you know, and, it, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, with the academy here, we, we can actually bring some players through into our first team and, and beyond. Excellent. Thanks for asking.